Dr. Androspina, functional anatomy seminars.com. Uh, a little while ago, I put on a post of um, what I call my jujitsu molds, the mobilizations that I base after jujitsu moves. Um, and the last one I did was a Kimura mold for the posterior uh, glenohumeral joint. Um, I had a lot of requests and sends. People want to see the other ones. So I'll, I'll just put them up one at a time. Um, today, I'm going to do what's called the heel hook mold. Um, the heel hook mold is really utilized to promote. Uh, tibial rotation on the femur. So a lot of the times post-surgical cases, whether it be a, um, uh, let's say, ACL rehabilitation or even if somebody gets scoped, a lot of the times therapists will work on restoring uh, full knee extension, restoring full knee flexion. Uh, they'll even work on uh, patellofemoral mobilizations and movement to restore that motion. But what a lot of people fail to do is to restore uh, tibial plateau rotation. So rotation of the tibia on the femur. Uh, that's really, really important for dynamic knee movement. Uh, it's also important to promote proper meniscal uh, motion uh, during knee motions as well. So I'm going to demonstrate the one for the medial uh, joint. Okay. So it's called the heel hook mode. So what I'm going to do is with the person's leg bent to 90 degrees, I'm going to reach around and almost get his forefoot into a headlock like this. From there, I'm simply going to wrap my elbow, the crease of my elbow, up and around his, um, his calcaneus. And that way I can mold him, but just by lifting my arm, I can mold him by bringing his anterior tibial plateau on the medial side forward, therefore causing rotation. Okay? Uh, you have to be very careful during this mobilization. Anybody who does do any submission fighting will know that when you get put into a heel hook, there's a, a really thin line between no pain, no pain, and all of a sudden blowing all the ligaments in your knee. So I advise you to be very, very careful, go very, very slowly. While you're doing this mobilization, you can go to end range, and you can just kind of play within the end range, and you can see, I don't know if you can pan in on this and see uh, the studio plateau moving, if you come in closer. Come in closer. So if you just look up here, you can see the, the tibial plateau moving in. Now I can also, with my hands or with my thumb, I can work into the joint line and I can take tension on the coronary ligament. And once I'm on the coronary ligament, I can actually apply pressure downward, thereby reducing or removing scarring as I'm doing the mobilization just by putting some inferior force. So once again, uh, it's called the heel hook mold. Uh, be very, very cautious with it. You can do it also with internal rotation to promote lateral uh, plateau movement. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'll blog on the other uh, joint lock molds soon.